everyone, welcome to my third video of the day. Well, live stream and then two videos. This one is going to be my full breakdown of the season one trailer two for Doctor Who. Yes, very, very exciting stuff. I really enjoyed this trailer. Apologize, I didn't talk much in the first reaction. I'm just taking it all in. I've given it a second watch during my time away from the camera. So I wanted to try and break this down best I can, go through all the little details, the little nuggets of information we can gather. I think I prefer this even more to the first one, to be honest. I feel like the speech from the Doctor made it feel really inspiring and really kind of like energetic in a really nice way. And subscribe if you're new, by the way. Uh, I'm trying to get to 25,000 subscribers before season one drops and any support we greatly appreciate it on that front. But let's just get right into it. So yeah, the trailer opens with Shooty saying, are you ready for this? Ready for this? And then it, um, it obviously goes mostly from like an entirely narrated perspective from the Doctor, which I really like. Immediately, the thing I noticed, and I mentioned it in my previous video, the colour grade is very different from what we saw in the Disney Plus trailer, which I'm glad they fixed. <laughs> obviously, just comparing this to the Disney Plus trailer, you can tell an immediate difference in the visual, like, sort of fidelity and quality of it. Give me the love now, obviously, now we know that that scene does for definite immediately lead into him reuniting with Yasmin Fiddy's Rose, which is very nice. Now, stay back. We are going to roll. So this is interesting. It looks like a finale-ish setting. It looks like they're at Unit HQ. Now, I could have sworn I saw, yeah, Ruby's mum at the unit bases as well. So Ruby's mum is going to be getting more involved. Carla is going to be getting more involved in the travels, which I think is really interesting. Obviously, she's going to find out eventually what Ruby's been up to, but I'll be curious as to when that happens. Obviously, we know that the Doctor has a conversation with her about, I will keep your daughter safe and all the rest of it. So, you know, I'm wondering when that will be and kind of how she'll factor into the finale. I'm assuming this is the finale as well, judging by the costume. Stay back. We are going to rock. And then obviously we've got the zero gravity scene that we kind of saw from the Disney trailer, but obviously more close up. And then the line, we're going to rock through time. And then this, finally, our first HD look at that mysterious shooty gatwa in beanie look that we've seen i'm going to assume judging from the titles that this is episode four and yeah the colors just look phenomenal they really pop on this trailer this looks to be a futuristic city which i think is interesting and i believe this is the same spot that we see the dead tardis in the other trailer so i'm very interested to see what sequence of events leads to that so we've got what i dubbed last time the kind of austin powers he's seen in the previous trailer which is like him conducting a musical You've got this futuristic looking hospital, which I'm assuming is for the Space Babies episode, which, yeah, obviously Ruby's looking out in awe because she's in space, which, you know, makes sense. And then we've got the Doctor kind of giving looks to um, this character whose name escapes me. The actor's name escapes me. He's the one who plays King George in Hamilton. It'll come back to me in a second, but it's not coming back to me right now. I'll edit it onto the screen for you guys, but yeah, that's going to bother me for a second. And then we get another Bridgerton gag. I hope they don't go too far with the Bridgeton gag. Like, I, I was funny the first time, but I do worry that like, they might overdo it a little bit, but we'll see. So this is Ruby Sunday, and then we get a bunch of shots of Ruby Sunday. And the past woman says, I think she says she's brave and wild and rude, I think. Ruby. You are wild, brave, and rude. Yeah. And then you get this shot of her. No, you made it worse. Where shall we go? Yeah, I love this shot. So this is them recreating the famous Abbey Road, like, Beatles shot. They actually got recreated for a piece of docu original material back in, like, 2015 with uh, Peter Capaldi and Jenna Colbert, which is really cool. Oh, anywhere! It's Where should we go? It's anywhere? So, yeah, this is the first episode. This baby! Oh, is it the universe, man? Let's have a So the Doctor, like, being mind boggled by the universe, and then, like, obviously Ruby clearly covered in some sort of gunk there. Like... Not as impressed, which is fun. Let's have a random landing. Is it safe? We got a bunch of shots here. Listen to me. This, this, this is what scene we're trying I really to stop. like. All of life. This is what we're trying to stop. And then you got to this shot of almost like, I don't know, like the planet's fading away, like this sandstorm, which we've also seen on Earth. Extinguished. With the universe we'll being extinguished. I will keep us safe. Crying here. Something's gonna happen to Ruby, man, especially with those final two titles, which were the what was it, the Legend of Ruby Sunday and then Empire of Death. Something's gonna happen to Ruby. I don't know what, but come on. We've got work to do. <laughs> there's a storm coming in. You so, there's, so there's a storm coming in, 
which I assume is like the big bad for this season. Maybe that's what causes the TARDIS to go all funny. And then Jinx's character. Honey, I'm a much bigger bang than you bargained for. I love this line, I'm a much bigger bang than you bargained for. Obviously, I'm assuming this is for Stephen Moffat's episode, given that that seems to revolve around a bomb. Boom, bang. Because the episode's called Boom as well. I think that makes sense. I will shatter this silly little battlefield into dust. I love that line. I will shatter this silly little battlefield into dust. Giving very Peter Capaldi at that moment, actually. In a heartbeat. Into dust. I really like that scene. I don't have a people, I don't have a home, but I have freedom. So this is interesting. I don't have a people, I don't have a home, but I have freedom. Obviously this follows the fact that he doesn't really know who his people are anymore. The Time Lords are also gone again. Gallifrey's also gone again. But he has freedom. So there's this sense of freedom that the Doctor now has, especially following, obviously, 14 having therapy and stuff. Catching monsters getting into scrapes. Catching monsters getting into scrapes. That is just the Doctor quintessentially. So the Doctor's characterization feels absolutely spot on here. So I keep moving on to see the next thing. And the next, and the next. Have you so he just wants to keep seeing different things, things after things after things. But I felt so alive. And that's just the beginning. And then we get this shot to camera, which is which is very a trip of a lifetime series one type vibes. Saying like, have you ever felt so alive? But that's just the beginning. Really like it. Not much more to break down there, really. Obviously, I'm sure on Twitter people have pointed out loads and loads of different things. But um, yeah, it looks good. Obviously, the main thing I picked up on was Carla being in the unit base. So that implies to me that the Sunday family will be involved in the finale in, in a big way. The one thing I don't believe is that Jonathan Groff, whose name I escaped me earlier, isn't playing Jack. I think you can have a flirty guy who's like a time-related person who isn't Jack, but there we are. The other thing I just wanted to point out was we also got a new cast member revealed earlier on. This is Golda Rocheville, who jumps on board the TARDIS as episode titles are revealed. She joins Doctor Who as Jocelyn, who the Doctor and Ruby will collide with in their first adventure together. So interestingly, apparently she played someone in Bridgerton, which is quite a funny little coincidence there, or maybe that's deliberate, I'm not sure. It's been so amazing seeing the whole world appreciate all this talent because of Bridgerton, and it's been an absolute joy to invite her to Cardiff to help launch Shooty and Millie's first season. As Doctor Who gears up for its highly anticipated simultaneous global premiere in this May, the episode titles have now been revealed for the season, as well as another incredible guest star who jumps aboard the TARDIS, as another treat viewers will be given another trailer that will launch on the YouTube channels at 6pm, before airing on Sunday 31st of March. Okay, that's the one we just seen. I thought they were going to say another one. Up first in the Julie Adams Robinson directed Space Babies is Golda Rushvel, Queen Charlotte of Bridgerton Story, who joins Doctor Who as Jocelyn, who collides with the Doctor Ruby on their first adventure in the TARDIS together. Rounding out the double bill is the previously announced Chicks Monsoon, who stars in the Devil's Corners, the Doctor's most powerful enemy yet. In this episode, the Doctor Ruby st stepped back into the 60s to meet the Beatles. So yeah, it's cool that she played like the Queen in Bridgerton. That's a fun little connection there. Yeah, not much else to really say about that, but very interested to see what she does. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the trailer. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give a like, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe if you do, and I'll see you later.